everyone and welcome to this base demo of the Line 6 Helix LT. I'm gonna show you how I've set up my tone for the song that you just heard. I'm using a Yamaha Attitude Limited 3 bass which has two pickups and two outputs. And both pickups have their own separate signal path in the Helix. And they also have two separate outputs. So I'm using both the left and the right XLR outputs. This is something that you can do even if you don't have a bass that has two separate outputs. You can actually route this even if you have a standard one output bass. But I'm gonna show you how I set everything up now. So I'm gonna start off with uh, describing the signal path of the neck pickup, which is a woofer type pickup. The neck pickup goes from this output into the FX return 1 of the Helix, and then it has a pretty simple signal path, and then it's routed to the right XLR output of the Helix. So the woofer pickup is a completely clean signal. And as I said, the signal path is really simple. It starts off with a three band compressor, then it goes into an octaver, and then it goes into the SVT Beast um, amp and cabinet preset, which is based around the um, Ampeg SVT. And as I said, I have an octave down, on this. So there's a lot of low end going on there. And as I said, it goes to the right XLR output. And the P style pickup has a bit more complicated signal path. Mm -hmm. This signal path starts off with the split. So first we got a clean amp, and then we have the distorted. And these two signals are based on the Pierce BC-1 preamp that uh, Billy Sheehan used for many many years with Mr. Big, David Lee Roth uh, and Talis and what have you. So this preamp has got a lot of drive and a lot of distortion and I've actually routed the control to the drive to the foot switch so I can actually Clean it up. If I want to, just by using the foot switch. If I don't want to switch it off completely, which I can also do. So after a split signal, uh, I put an octave there, an octave up. Which only affects the distorted signal, I might add. Um, then we have a We've got a noise gate, we've got a chorus. Uh, and then we have a three band compressor, and then we've got the 410 cabinets. And this signal path is routed to the left XLR output. So I've set this preset up to be an approximation of what Bill Sheehan uses these days with Mr. Big and the Weiner Dogs. So hence the dual octavers. Okay, so this was a quick explanation of how I routed this preset, which I've dubbed Billy's Boogie. Um, you don't need a dual output base to do a signal path like this. You can just split the signal inside a helix and use just one input and then run to two separate outputs. So with this being said, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell button so that you get a nice notification every time I post a video. If you have any questions regarding the Helix and the tones you can set up and routing and whatnot, make sure that you leave them down below and I'll try and answer them as good as I can. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.